My friends, there is something I want to talk to you about in preparation for the big gig. What if something happens that you're just not ready for? Show must go on. So keyboard players, here's my thought for you. Have four sounds ready to go. Piano, electric piano, organ, and maybe some kind of lead synth sound, if you have that much stuff. But what I suggest you do is take a look at your set list, think about the kind of sounds that you really need, and just be ready when you get to your keyboard if it's not the same one you practiced on, which it probably will be, so I wouldn't worry about it so much, but be ready to just hit one of those sounds. You're almost always good with piano. Electric piano, if you need to chill it out just a little bit, those two really do it all. The other ones, eh, they're just there for backup. So the main thing is have fun, and if you have those main ideas, just have a couple of sounds ready to go that you can push that button, play your tunes, it's gonna be sweet. Hi guys, Emily Grove here. I'm here to teach you guys some tips on vocal warm-ups and vocal just exercises in general to get ready for the big gig. So the day of the big gig comes, we all get a little nervous, you know, a little stress here, a little stress here. So what I like to do, and what I tell my students all the time, is we wanna stretch. We wanna get real comfy. So we wanna do some shoulder rolls, we wanna do some neck rolls, and we also want to, you know, do some chewing to get that shoulder and the jaw all relaxed. Now, for vocal warm-ups, what I like to do is find your key, find in each song what is the highest note, what is the lowest note, and we're gonna warm up to a half step to a step above that, and a half a step to a step below that, because that way you're not hitting the ceiling when you're singing. You've warmed up past that point in either way. Also, start out with maybe some sirens and some some lip trills. It'll help you just relax that for the big gig. So I hope you guys have a great gig. I can't wait to watch it. See you guys soon. Hey guys, it's Gabe here. I'm here to talk to you about big gig outfits. What are you guys wearing? Are you gonna wear something coordinated, like the same thing? Or are you gonna wear something similar? Start having those conversations now, because if you look good, you feel good, and if you feel good, you sound amazing. So start having those conversations, think about what you wanna wear, and something that makes you feel like you. Hey everybody, Dan here. I just wanted to give you guys some uh, tips on big gig stage presence. Uh, stage presence is such a, uh, it's an interesting, it's an interesting uh, aspect of performing because I think it's the most, um, I think it's the aspect that most um, relies on who you are, your personality, and it's your chance to let your personality show through your music. You know, you can, you can look at someone like Mick Jagger, who's all over the stage doing a rah-rah thing, and he has great stage presence, and you can also look at Eddie Vedder, who will stand behind a microphone the whole time and have the same power over the audience. It's about making the connection with your audience. Eye contact's important. I tell a lot of my students who are, who are starting to get to a point where they can grasp proper stage presence. And you have to be good enough at your instrument first. You really do. You can't be thinking about stage presence if you don't know what chords you're playing in your songs. So the most important thing is practice like your songs more than anything else. You should even be having the stage presence talk if you don't know your songs well enough yet. But once you're, you're comfortable at your instrument, you're comfortable as a musician, you'll just feel yourself starting to bop more on stage. You'll be playing a song. You'll be kind of grooving more. Don't fight that. Let that come naturally because then you're going to start feeling music more. I mean, you're feeling music, your emotions getting involved. When your emotions getting involved, you can send that out to your audience and your audience is making a connection with you. And then, this is especially important for singers, you're walking around the stage or you're standing right behind a microphone, but you're, you're doing something impactful. You're making eye contact with your audience. You're giving the most impassioned performance of your song that you can possibly give. Stage presence is just as much performing well as it is going around and Know, acting all crazy on stage. You know, a good, like I've seen bands like Tedeschi and Trucks where Susan Tedeschi and Derek Trucks don't move around much on stage, but the way they're playing is so soulful and it's so impactful that it's coming across to you like, 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 like rays of sunlight, man. It's awesome. I, I, you just feel great when you hear great music like that. So don't think it, it's, it's just Mick Jagger and pop stars who run around stage. That's not all stage presence is. Stage presence is you. 
It's taking who you are as a musician and giving the most honest representation of you and giving it back to your audience. Keep that in mind, keep practicing, keep working hard. See you at the big gig. Hey, I'm here today to show all you drummers at the big gig what to look for when you sit down at the kit for your band set time. So number one, seat height. So every drummer has a different desired seat height. So you're gonna look at the seat, figure out how it works. I like to sit higher. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That's number one. Number two, snare drum position. Is it angled towards you, away from you? How do you like it? If it's not what you're used to, make sure you figure out and adjust. You have five minutes between every band turnover to get everything set up. So you wanna to learn to move quickly, practice this on your own time in the practice room. I'm gonna change the height, move it up a little bit. I changed the angle and the height. Next, bass drum pedal. How does that feel? What are you used to? Do you wanna bring your own bass drum pedal? If you do, you're more than welcome to. However, we do provide it at the gig, as, along with the rest of the drum set and the cymbals. So, you just wanna kick it. If it's feeling good, great, move on. If not, if it's too tight, too loose, ask a production staff to come and help you fix it. Um, next one is going to be cymbal positions. That means heights and angles. Is it where you're used to? This ride cymbal is not where I'm used to. I like my things kind of low. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this. And this takes time to get fast at it. So what you're gonna wanna do is practice this starting now in your rehearsals at home as well. Maybe even purposely change your cymbal heights and your snare drum and your drum kit around to time yourself. How quickly can I get my desired setup? Uh, next is tom heights, all right? so. Um, these actually feel good to me, but sometimes you get to the gig and the drummer before you has their tom like this and you're like, I can't play like that. If you forget about it, you're gonna be playing your set and then you're gonna hit the rims. There's no one to blame. <laughs> you fix the tom height. Um, cool. And lastly, well also there's the hi-hat, right? That goes along with the cymbals. Make sure that's a great height for when you're grooving along. Um, lastly, it's just all the little extra stuff that's uh, particular to you. Do you sing when you play the drums? Make sure you know exactly where you want your vocal mic and the stand. I like it over here, coming up over the cymbals. Boom. If you have a drum pad, let us know. Production staff will always help with anything. And lastly, drum tuning. If you're hitting the drums, they're already pre-tuned, but there's a lot of people playing on the drums at the show. So when it's your turn, make sure you like how they sound. If not, always have a drum key on, uh, uh, on hand and we will have them as well with our production. So thank you and have a great gig. <laughs>